Good afternoon, students. I welcome you all to this next standard class. The topic is polynomial. So, last class I taught you about uh, polynomial meaning, meaning of polynomial, and also about the terms and also about division method. Everything I taught you. So, a continuation. Uh, this is a factorization method. So, factorization method. is a very simplified manner you can do before knowing the factorization you must know the meaning of factors i will teach you meaning of factors so what are the factors see example example 36 36 what are the factors of 36 here see 6 into 6 what is in general 36 then uh, 12 into 3 what are the factors so 36 1 into 36 so see these are all the factors of 36 okay these are so you arrange it so 1 3 6 uh, 12 and so repetition we should not use it 1 3 6 12 12 and 36 are the factors of 36 like that example 24 you take 24 what are the factors so 12 into 2 children 12 into 2 so then what is is there 24 into 1 then what are the other factors so 6 into 4 6 into 4 okay so these are all the factors so 4 into 6 are the same So what are the factors of 24 now? Come and tell me. One, two, four. In this order, do it. Okay. Four. Then what is is there? One is there. Two is there. Four is there. Uh, six is there. Twelve is there. So one, two, four, six, twelve is the factors of 24. Twenty-four. So these are the factors. Like that, go for algebra. Algebra. A plus B. Whole square, whole square. What are the factors of a plus b? A plus b and a plus b are the factors of a plus b whole square. What do you mean by that? If you multiply this one, you should get this result. If you multiply any number, you should get this result. So if you multiply this one, this one, that is why we call it as for factors. Take for example, a minus b whole square is equal to a minus b into a minus b. A minus b. Then a square b minus a square minus b square is equal to a minus b into a plus b. You know, the a minus b and a plus b are the factors of a square minus b square. A minus b into a minus b are the factors.
Okay, now let us pass on to factorization method. See now, example, all of you open your book. Okay, so now example 11 you go. Examine, examine, examine whether, whether, whether x plus 2 is a factor, is a factor of, is a factor of x cube, x cube plus 3x square plus 5x plus 6 and plus, what is that term? 2x and 2x plus 4. So this is the sum given in your text. What they have given them? Examine whether x plus 2 is a factor of x cube plus 3x square plus 5x plus 6. I told you about factors. So this is whether this factor is there or not, we have to check out. How do you check out? Take the value of here x plus 2 is equal to 0. x is equal to minus. Take the value of x. Then take this uh, expression. P of x uh, is equal to x cube plus 3x square plus 5x plus 6. Substitute as minus 2. Here p minus 2 is equal to minus 2 whole cube plus 3 into, into what is the x value? Minus 2 whole square 5 into minus 2 plus 6 plus 6. So here what do you do? 3 times minus 2 minus 2 minus into minus plus plus into minus minus. Okay 2 into 2 4. 4 into 2 8. Now plus into minus plus plus 3 into 3 into minus into minus 2 plus 2, 2 times 2. Then 4 plus into minus minus 5 into 2, 10 plus 6. So here minus 8 plus 12 minus 10 plus 6. I, I minus 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 80 plus 80 is equal to 0. Therefore, x minus x plus 2 is a factor of this one. When you are getting a zero value, x plus 2 is a factor of x cube plus 3x square plus 5x plus 6. Once again, you see the example. Once again, you see the video. Try your level best to understand children. So, this is the one of the way of solving the problem by following the factorization method. This is one of the type. There are so many types are there. This is the, taking the value of x. Substitute for the expression. How many terms are there? 1, 2, 3, 4 terms are there. Substitute it. You are getting a 0. So that is the way of solving the problem. Go for 2x plus. What is that term? Shall I start here? Yeah, x is equal to 2x plus 2x plus 4. Here, 2 into minus 2 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. So, here, 2 plus into minus minus 4 plus 4 is equal to 0. So, therefore, x plus 2 is also a factor of 2x plus 4. It is very easy. So, you know, what they have asked you know, under the example of 12, example whether x plus 2 is a factor of x So we take the value of x is equal to minus 2, substitute it out, we got the 0, so therefore x plus 2 is a factor of both the expression, both the expression. Follow it up. Shall we go for another example? Go for next example. Next example. Example number, oh, now I taught you 11. Now I am going to teach you 12. Okay. So example 12. Example 12. Children, all of you see the example. Example 12, 9 standard children. Example 12. What is they have asked? Find the value of k. Find the, repeat it all of you. So find the value of k. Value of k. What is they have given? If x minus 1, if 
factor of factor of factor of 4x cube 4x cube plus 3x square minus Six 
Okay, x minus equal to zero. Here x plus minus twelve and x minus ten are the factors of x plus minus twenty three x square plus one forty two x minus one twenty. So this is the way you have to find out the factors. Okay, children. If you don't follow in case, in case. Repeat the video and also see your textbook example number fifteen. You will come to know. But I taught you this. This step is carefully. Minus one, one square, one x square, minus twenty two, twenty three. Here one forty two plus twenty two, one twenty one forty two. This if you follow very well, you can do it. Factorization. This is the way you have to solve the problem. So you know, you, you, tonight. Tonight, whenever you are watching this video, that night itself, open the exercise, following the examples, try to solve the problem. Later, I will send you the notes. So, next topic, I am going for the identities. So, we are after video sending, sending the video. So, I will send the notes also. So, following that one, solve the problem. So, this is for the second test portion. Okay, children. So thank you. Thank you. Bye bye.